the experience? Uh, it was a ton of fun, especially today. Guys are working hard and making nice plays, and um, you know, to cap it off with the win is special for all of us for sure. So obviously, perfect for you winning yesterday, winning today, also going back. To the yeah, um, once you make it to the final, you know, you're going to bear down and try to win it. Um, but yeah, it's a, it was a great effort by everyone, and um, yeah, it was a ton of fun being out there. Playing in Florida, were you having the feeling that Matthew and Barca were really pushing to, to get that win? <laughs> yeah, we wanted to get a win for the home crowd fans. Um, they did a good job of cheering on the Atlantic Division, so uh, we just wanted to put on a good show for them. Any plan with what you're going to do with the money? With the money? I don't know. Um, Go, <laughs> got to pay for part of my uh, vacation after this, so uh, just have fun. How was it to uh, see Ovechkin and Crosby in the first game yeah. and doing their thing? Yeah, it was really cool to go head to head with them, and uh, they're special players and, and people, and just to uh, be around them all, all weekend was really cool. You scored two goals the first game. Can it be a little bit special knowing that you've been a, a goal scorer in the, at the All Star game? Yeah, I think I didn't have any last any points last year, so I wanted to do something this year. So, uh, yeah, but getting the wins nicer. What's the plan for the next couple of days? Just relaxing, um, just trying to soak up the sun down here and um, head back to Montreal in a, in a few days. I think that Little King is finishing with five goals. Was he was he on fire also today? Oh yeah, he was he was buzzing all night, and um, yeah, it was his hard work paid off for sure. There's one specific moment you're gonna keep in mind the last days. What, which one could it be? Uh, probably lining up against Sid and Ovi for a few of the face-offs, just looking across at, at them playing together. So uh, you don't see that very much, and uh, it was really cool to see. All going to be in Toronto next year, a little different environment. Uh, what's it gonna be like in a, in a cold climate if you if you get to you know there's no beach, no sand, there's no golf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. Toronto's still a great city, and uh, just the stuff that they can pull off there would, is probably going to be pretty cool. So uh, I'm sure it'll be a really good event again.